Oh, hey, Aaron. Oh, hey, Scott. How are you today? I'm doing today. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. How are you? I can't even talk. It's too early in the morning. Oh, boy, is it. So where are you right now? Right now, I am in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Orlando? I'm in Orlando. Oh. Or, like Orlando Bloom, but Florida. Oh. Um, I'm in the Talking Beards mobile studio, and I'm about to get ready for uh, Beards for the Brave 3. Wow. So the other day when we did our pot, or sorry, Talking Beards, the, the live show, who was our guest? Our guest on uh, the last live show was Christine M. Algaretti. She is uh, the president or captain or whatever the mob people call it of uh, beer, the boss of Beard Mob Florida. Um, she is putting together the Beards for the Brave three competition that is going on today, and I am going to be the world's best MC plus maybe there's a special guest MC um, that's going to be part of this event. And it's not me just to let everyone know, but I don't know. Maybe it's you, but it's not me though. I don't know. Maybe you'll have to f- stay tuned and find out. Oh, okay. So I guess everyone needs to go to talkingbeards.com for more information about the show. But if they want to find out what's going on in this super exciting episode, when should they go listen, Aaron? Everybody should stay tuned and listen right now. No, it's meow. Oh, right. Meow. Welcome to the Talking Beards podcast, an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. Do I need to click it? Do I click need your click jets. It? Calm down. Do I need to click it? I will, I will click your face. I clicked it. We're live now. Calm down. But are we really live? I don't know. Are we? But are we really live though? (sighs) I burped. I had work. Oh, that's my job. I'm supposed to burp. Well, you weren't here. You were busy doing other stuff. Good gosh, I was. I was over there for an hour and forty minutes. I was like, I gotta go. And Natalie was like doing jumping jacks and screaming at me and throwing stuff, and she was mad. She. I heard. I heard heard internet messed up. I heard she threw a chinchilla at you. She did all the chinchillas. And then she turned it into like a monkey beard. And then Matt McClear was there and he looked like a monkey beard. I was there too. No, just Matt. No, I was there too. Were you? I didn't see you. And then Christina was there and she was like fixing her hair. God, it was wild. And then like Matt left and then his chair was just empty. It It was like a whole thing. I don't know. Can we go now? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's. Oh, do it. hey! So we are live. This is the uh, 104th episode of the live Talking Beard show. Uh, we are the Talking Beards, and this is also episode number 179 of the podcast. Uh, I've been talking for the last two hours, so I'm super duper ready to go. Apparently, I am Aaron D. Johnston. I uh, am. I'm over here. Yeah. Oh, I don't okay. know. I don't even know what's going on. So tonight's episode, we will have Christine M. Algo ready for her fifth time on the show. Sixth time. 638th. 638th time on the show. Uh, She is here to talk about Beards for the Brave 3. That'll be going on this weekend. This one. Upcoming. Live event. And yeah, you heard it right. It's a live beard competition. It's, I don't know. It's wild. I don't even know. Those things are extinct, I thought. But I don't dinosaurs know. Dinosaurs are dinosaurs are extinct, Aaron. There will be dinosaurs in Valrico, Florida. You heard it here first. So yeah, take it away, Scott. Go ahead. 
Hey, and I am uh, Scott Sakura. You can find out more information about the show by going to talkingbeards.com. Why are you talking so slow? <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. NASCAR mouth over there. Geez, sorry. I have breathe. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, go over to talkingbeards.com. There you can get hooked up with the show. You can watch it live over there right now. Um, if you choose yeah. not to follow us on social media, you can watch it over at talkingbeards.com. If you choose to follow us on any of the social media, social media, you can uh, watch us on Facebook. You can watch us on YouTube. You can watch us on Twitch. You can watch us on Periscope. Wherever you guys choose to watch us, that's where we're at. Did you say talkingbeards.com? talkingbeards.com you can also watch us there you can also subscribe to the podcast so if you're into podcasts you can check it out there you can check out all of our old episodes and whatever you can go and check out uh our sh- our merchandise store where we have all this really cool uh merchandise all the cool merchandise it's like the best stuff you can possibly buy the best of the best but at the beginning of each of okay. our shows oh hey oh hey todd's here his Todd. dad was the inventor of Bailey's. Do you have you ever had Bailey's from a shoe? <laughs> That's the yeah. only thing I think of with Bailey's. Bailey's oh, Bailey's. Josh Barefoot Brains is here. Speaking your, of uh, Bailey's from a boo. boo I know. How, boo, how did your uh, vision test go today? How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, hey. 14. Oh, hey. But anyways, at the beginning of each of our shows, we have. Now, this is something that we, I mean, we've done forever. But we've kind of upped the ante a little bit. We not, did. Not Auntie M, uh, not Auntie, but Uncle But what we want you guys to do is whoever shares this episode the most on social media will Shit. win a free, no strings attached, poop knife. Unless you want to tie a string to it. That's up you, to you. Yeah, you can. Actually, there's a little hole in the back end of it. And uh, she said back end. I did say <laughs> back end of the poop knife. And you can just hang it from your toilet if you want. I mean, yeah. So share this episode. So if you would like to win a poop knife, share this episode. So um, with that being said, Corey, the ghost guile, uh, Brandon Borderline, and a person who I have not counted the last week's episode because I just forgot about it until just now. I will get you a poop knife. So I have you all listed and I will count last week's episode uh, soon and I will figure out who I owe a poop knife to. So if you are going to Florida and uh, I will have poop knives with you and or with me. And if you are one of these people that, you know, share the episode the most, you will get a poop knife. And what? I was what? Going- Look at that. But there's something new and oh. interesting about a poop knife. It's a real Look thing. At Look at this. this. New and improved logo. Is it focusing on it? Back it up. Back it up. Beep. I beep, can see it. Beep. It's blurry. There we go. Not. Look at that. Poop knife with a mustache. So I will have a few of these in Florida. They are very limited edition, and I'm not going to give them out to everybody. You have to come up and ask for this sticker. And if you come up and ask for the poop knife sticker, I will give you a sticker. Um, but yeah. Tyler Hill. And uh, Poop Knife kind of put their brains together and came up with this hot new design for Poop Knife. Poop Knife with a mustache. So, yeah, thank you, uh, Tyler and uh, OriginalPoopKnife.com for coming up with that new hot uh, beard community related <laughs> Poop Knife. Hot poop. Sticker. Hot poop. <laughs> and so, now- yeah, everybody share this episode and you will get a Poop Knife. And I'll throw in a Poop Knife sticker. Yes, but you have to share this episode, and hey, Aaron, if, that's it. Go do ahead. You know what, do you know what time it is? It is eight oh six. No, it oh is gosh, time Matt. for. Hold on. It's time for talking beards. The news with, with Matt, Matt McClear. <laughs> Whoa! Look how good we look. So yeah. professional. So profesh. Wow. That's what do you think about that one, Matt McClear? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. It's well done. I know. I was working. I I, I was uh, working on those last night. I have a couple other ones, but 
I, I wanted to go with a little bit more professional one than the one with the uh, the guy and the woman making out. I thought that one was really funny. Or the cat pooping. The cat. There was the a cat. one with the cat pooping too. That one was really funny. But, but we stuck it to the professional wow. level, and because you're just you're professional, Matt. Well, there's the first time I've ever been called that. And isn't it funny that Tyler Hill created something with a mustache? Well, I mean, yeah, uh, he knows that everybody with mustache, you know, everybody should have a mustache. It's only weird if you don't have one. And so he's going to grow it out so he can. No, he can't. He he actually had it lasered off. Isn't Uh, that weird? But check this out. Hey, it made it. Beard Hub. What's Beard Hub? Oh, if you don't know. If you don't know. You need to know. So you need to know. Well, then tell me. Beard Hub. Right. Just Beard Hub. That's it. Is yeah, it like- number one rule of Beard Hub: you don't talk about Beard Hub, especially on, on on talking beards while you're live. That's right. Everybody knows that. Everybody. Anything like a hub cap? Can't talk yeah. about it. Can't talk about it. Oh. So what is up, Matt McClear of Beard Laws fame? Just some beard laws news, and I didn't know if I was supposed to jump right into the news. The new segment really threw me off, so. I don't know. That's what we used to do. You do what you do, boo. Yeah, boo. Okay. You do you. Let's do it. So, I'm Matt, right. this is your Talking Beard News brought to you by Beard Laws. And this is the first time Aaron hasn't had to talk in two hours, so you're welcome for the voice break. <laughs> A man was arrested at Chicago's O'Hare Airport for trespassing after allegedly living in the airport for three months. I got this. Yeah, somebody sent that to me. I was a weird person that would send you a news article too. I I got that. I figured since it was sent to me, we had to do it, and then uh, let's do that. So Aditya, sorry if I butchered your name, but you can't see that you're probably still in jail. Singh was charged with felony criminal trespass after he was found in a restricted area of the airport, according to the Cook County State's attorneys and this article by uh, CBS Chicago. Singh was also charged with theft of less than five hundred dollars. He appeared in court on Sunday, was issued ten thousand dollar bond. If bail is posted, he will be monitored electronically. So apparently, Singh told police that he was afraid to fly due to the coronavirus pandemic, which broke out apparently when he went from California to Chicago and thought it was a good time to just kind of hang out there. So he was discovered apparently at the airport, uh, employees called police. And according to the Chicago Tribune, um, he told authorities that he had found an employee ID badge and that other passengers at the airport were buying him food. So the court, especially the judge, found it pretty shocking that a man from California was living in Chicago in a secure part of the airport for three months. He has no criminal record and was not seen as a criminal threat. And so for anyone that complains about how much restaurant food costs these days, try paying for nothing but airport food for three months. That was the craziest thing to me is like he wasn't just like in the airport. He was in like a secure location with a stolen badge for three months and no one noticed. Yeah, like, what did he do? Did he just pretend to work for three months? I mean, we all have those coworkers, let's be honest, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he was, I mean, was, I guess he was just like going from terminal to terminal and sleeping. And then he would like go to a different spot and sleep. And I mean, it's a big airport. So, I mean, nobody's probably going to pay, you know, pay attention or whatever, but. That's kind of what the judge said too in the article is like, it was very shocking that he was in this very secure area nobody knew and especially like you know uh, you're in an airport it's supposed to be super safe and then yeah. just going on thankfully he didn't have a criminal history and no intent he was just living there just hanging out you know <laughs> <laughs> there's there's interesting places but yeah could you imagine only eating airport food for three months i mean some airports have good food yeah but it's not yeah. cheap especially for a guy that's just living in there well, he, was, he was having people give him food yeah mm-hmm. How does wow. that, how do, how do you go about doing that? Getting people to, especially with the price of airport food, which is or usually me. more expensive. How do you be like, can you buy me a cheeseburger and I'll pay you next Tuesday? Isn't that how it goes? You think that'd be alarming too. You know what I mean? Like for three months, somebody's begging for food uh, in the airport, in the airport. I don't, I don't know. During COVID. During COVID. COVID. Yeah. Uh, so in other news. A mom was chewed out for leaving her four-year-old in the vehicle while she went into the store, which doesn't seem like that's that interesting of a story. But you could find, or you should find out who yelled at her. It's pretty good. So you honestly, it's you, the you woman there, a whore? Uh, no, probably, maybe. I don't know. I'm not one to judge. So she the woman went her. into a grocery store, which was about 15 feet store. or five yards from the car Saturday, leaving her four-year-old child inside with the engine running and the vehicle unlocked. 
you know, mother of the year. She was then informed by a store employee that her SUV was being stolen. So once the thief realized that the toddler was in the backseat, he drove back, berated the woman for leaving her child unattended, gave the woman back and actually said that he was going to call or they were going to call the police on the woman for leaving the child in there. So the and vehicle he stole, stole the car. <laughs> so then, yeah. So then he got back in the SUV, took off. They found the vehicle a few hours later in Portland. They're still looking for the thief. The suspect was to be said in the twenties or thirties, dark brown or black braided hair and a multicolored face mask. So if anyone <laughs> sees someone with braided hair, a multicolored face mask and a big heart with a big brain, apparently um, give authorities a call. We have some uh, breaking news. Uh, Tisha Chickenbread just announced a new show on the Talking Beards Network called Beards in the Airport. Oh, Tisha's going to make a new show. So I guess that could be our Friday night show. Uh, there we go. Beards at the Airport starring Tisha Chickenbread. So every Friday, she's going to be live from a different airport in the yep. entire world. Yep. She's going to uh, fly from airport to airport and just like interview people with beards. Thank you for, uh, you know, offering to do that tisha that's 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 going to be a really good hot new show more breaking really, yeah. news i do believe we have... it will be co-hosted by Encara. oh well, well yeah she she goes to all the airports anyway so that makes sense we have two people watching from twitch tonight that's wow. like basically a world record well, well we have someone watching there. from we have someone watching from germany we have someone watching from oklahoma wow, wow. germany Myers and just, oklahoma just, just, or germany oklahoma is that a place yeah, it is. Hmm. Let's go. What's up, bearded tater turtle? Hey, I know him. Do you? Yeah, I know. Is him. he really a bearded turtle? Yeah, that's Tom. Hey, hey Tom, Tom from, from my my face? Yeah, that's the yeah. Yeah, he sold out. He sold it. He's got a great uh, bunch of money, and now he's uh, he's just a bearded tater turtle hanging out, nice. cutting down trees. Yeah, he's a great dude. All right, what you got coming up for Thursday night? Thursday night, we have country singer Jay- uh, Jeremy Parsons. Jeremy oh Parsons. Brooks? Part of the Parsons, pro- Alan Parsons project? Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. He uh, he had a hit that was pretty up there on iTunes. So I have less than two days to learn about country music. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Hold on. How about, how about Michelle Emerson? Beards in the bathtub. That's got a good flow to it. It does. So okay. you're a, you're a huge country music uh, fan now. Yeah, pretty big. Yeah, pretty big. Wow. Uh, cool, cool. Yeah, he's a he's a great dude. We've been chatting for a little bit back and forth. He's super excited to be on the show. Just released a new album. So if you want to know more about the name of the album and everything, come to the show because it's uh, unfortunately not ringing a bell. New things to come. I think is the album name. You're you're promoting this thing so good. Yeah, it's on Spotify and all that stuff. Jeremy Parsons music. Jeremy Parsons music.com yeah. he's a great guy super excited to uh to interview him 9 p.m eastern standard time on the beard laws youtube twitch yep. facebook and the talking beards network yep so don't forget to go check out matt on thursday nights and other nights just uh go over to beardlaws.com you can find them there and uh, check out some of his really cool merch pick something up and that's about it right do you have anything going on tiktok tuesday tonight yep triple t is normal episode 16 a uh, bunch of crazy guests and uh yeah we're just gonna continue to show crazy tiktok videos that we think are funny and handpick ourselves and and potentially this could be some breaking news there's the works of a wednesday show coming up that nobody's gonna see coming that i think is gonna be really good oh my gosh this is I exciting. just got a message i just got a message about it it was an idea that was thrown out months ago and uh i think it's coming together which could be really interesting nice sure. cool. So we'll uh, we'll uh, obviously we'll, uh, we'll we'll let you guys know about it and we'll uh, see what we can do. Ex- absolutely, yeah. We uh, we could wiggle something in there and figure it out. But yeah, all right, Matt. Well, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, TikTok Tuesday goes extremely well tonight, and you have like four thousand people. And uh, yeah, we that's just, just pre- guess. Yeah, we just appreciate. <laughs> yeah, that's just the guess. We appreciate everything you do, and uh, as usual, we'll let you uh, sign off with some parting words. All right. So I just. All right. Well, he didn't have any parting words tonight. No. And uh, before we bring on our guest, uh, Christina Algaretti, um, a couple of things. We have some uh, breaking news with the Talking Beards Network. And uh, before we do that, why don't you tell us a little bit about where you were before you were here? 
Ooh, so I that's put it deep. in uh, BS buttons, but we can we can touch base on it again. I did a show called uh, uh, the Beard Show or just Beard Show over on Twitch. It was on the PDS Mix Twitch page. Uh, dude, super cool. Lives in Nashville. I was on episode number three, and uh, yeah, it does a two hour show, and it ends right at eight o'clock. So if we're out of sorts a little bit at the beginning of the show, that was why it uh, ran up till I, I jumped off at like a quarter till. And apparently I had to uh, reset our Internet because, yeah, it got a <laughs> it got good job, Scott. I know for her being on the show, nine hundred thousand four hundred and sixty two times. I really botched it. I'm really yeah. sorry. Christina Aguilera. Sorry. Sorry, Carla Aguilera. I didn't look. But yeah, so I, I did that show for a little bit before uh, talking beards, and he he was very interested in like beard, you know, care routine and the Holy City Beard and Mustache Society, and talking beards, talking beards network, and he was extremely excited uh, about the Whiskerinas and the Craft Build Off show on Monday nights. So I, you know, I pitched him the idea, like we've kind of sort of talked about a little bit, and was like, hey, you know, we uh, once live competitions happen again, and Aaron and Scott do talking beards, the competition live. Uh, we'll do like a Friday night or a Saturday craft build off live show. And he thought that was super cool. So I don't know there, there's something there, but he he's thinking that the craft whisker build off show would take Twitter or Twitter Twitch. take Twitch by storm. He said, he said that would be an absolute moneymaker. So apparently Natalie and Tisha are going to be millionaires via Twitch now, apparently. So, yeah, that's what I did before the show. It was super fun. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing it again some other time because apparently I had a lot to talk about. So we're going to be adding a beard travel and a beard weather segment to the show. This is awesome. We should have uh, Chicken Bread. He should be the the uh, meteorologist. He looks like a meteorologist because he doesn't have a mustache. That's right. And most meteorologists do not have mustaches. All and right. he's tall. He is tall. Oh, and that he's tall, so he feels the weather before short people like Natalie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, don't watch out, Natalie. It's going to start raining. He's a and whale storm chaser. The whale storm chaser. I like this. <laughs> we'll, we'll sneak over to his house and we'll spray paint that on the side of his truck. He'll never notice. I know you wouldn't, but he's a whaler. Anyways, he can't even read. I know he can't. That's the Back funny on track. Part. All right. So we have breaking news tonight. Uh, yeah, everybody knows that we have the uh, little Talk of Beards network going on, and we, you know, we got the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's a little, eh, we, we tried to do a Friday thing and, and maybe we will again, but, mm, but let's just be honest. There's, there's nothing popping up on Friday. So, uh, we, we utilized the format we already had. We have two shows on Saturday. We moved them over and. Boom, Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. We have Art Assault. It's going to be uh, uh, Josh Bethel and Kevin Hansen. They are going to be starting on episode number four this Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern. And it'll be on the Talking Beards Network this week. So they do uh, live art on the show, and it's super fun, super cool. And all I got to do is figure out how to interview people, and they'll be good to go. So, they, uh, yeah, the hot new Sunday night show is uh, filling out the network quite nicely. So we still don't have an official Friday night show, but one day me and Matt will bring back Talking Poop. And then Tyler's going to have to come up with a new cover photo because we're out of spots. So there you go. Breaking news. Thank you. So live from where is Florida. she? She is in Valrico, Florida or Valrico, Florida adjacent. I assume Valrico, Florida, since, you know, that's where she does her competition and stuff. Well, we'll, uh, get, we'll get Tampa, correct. Florida adjacent for sure. <clears throat> uh, the uh, creator of Sesame Street. And co-creator, co oh, co-creator of Sesame Street, her and Big Bird uh, collaborated and created Sesame Street from uh, just just a, a single egg, and then they hatched it, and it created this amazing PBS now HBO broadcast cinematic universe of Sesame Street characters, 
and she's involved with bearding a little bit, you know, with beard mob and all that. But mostly Sesame Street, Christine M. Algo Ready. Hey. Was that all very factual? (laughs) So factual. How so so factual. How are you doing tonight, ma'am? I'm okay. How are you? We're doing great. Uh yeah, so Mm -hmm. Saturday, you're 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 doing the damn thing. You are gonna have a live event. You're you're a trailblazer. No one even does that anymore. Leave it to me to, you know, go against the grain. Never was one to conform. So I start at 51. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, you got to start sometime. So will this be We've the first? Had, we had two other cops here since COVID. Um, yourself, and Natalie, were down for one of them. Um, it's it's a well-run venue. There's a lot of outdoor space. Um, we've in the other two events we've had, plus the markets we run there, no no cases, no illness, nothing come out of it. So I was comfortable in um, going ahead with the competition. And of course, you know, understand those who are willing to attend will and, and those that can't, again, you know, they can't. So um, we've gotten a lot of donations that people have just sent into um, our PayPal for Beard Mob because they can't attend. So um, I'm just looking forward to it. I, I miss people. Yeah, we're we're looking forward to coming down there. I, uh, yeah, I'm. You always do a good competition down there, and it's a good little venue, and it's fun. So, uh, is it is this event going to be on the inside stage or the outside stage this time? We're gonna have this one inside um, right now. It, the he's he's reformatted the inside, so the tables are socially distant. Um, there's space in between everything. So he's taken all the uh, necessary precautions. He still actually has live bands and such there every weekend. So um, it's it's set up to be able to um, pass um, everybody's standards. What is your, what is your uh, PayPal that you guys are accepting donations at? It's beardmobfl at gmail.com yeah so we'll we'll get that up on the screen so if anybody wants to participate in the competition but cannot you know be there for the competition you can still donate and uh help out the the good cause down there so would you tell us a little bit about the charity you are going to be raising money for this year so our charity for this event is the um, and it is the THD, the IGY6 Foundation. And it's the IGY6 semicolon foundation. There's some other um, entities learning. We actually, I actually met the gentleman who founded You're the foundation through Christine. one of the Orlando Bearded Villains. Is it, can I switch to? You can switch to something that connects. That's Hold fine. <laughs> yeah, you can. Why don't you just log out and log back in? We'll wait for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. And she's out. So yeah. Um, what she was talking about? She's a uh, the foundation was it? I I got your six, and they just use an acronym for it. But yeah, they they raise money for uh, veterans. It's in our little notes thing. I, yeah, I post face and copied it. Anyway, she can bring it up. So yeah, um, that's going to be this weekend. Her competition is live. Like we talked about, it's in Valrico, Florida. It's going to be at JF Kicks, um, one o'clock Eastern. Here it is. So here's a little marquee. Beard Mob Florida presents uh, registrations at one. Competition starts at five o'clock, January twenty yeah. third. And some of the categories they're going to have, um, they're going to have a Whisker Kids category. Whiskerina realistic, Whiskerina creative, um, a freestyle category. Um, if they don't have enough uh, partial or full beards, they're going to split the category. Um, their natural mustache, goatee, whaler, styled stash without beard, business beard, four 
and under. Full beard 4.1 to 6, uh, full beard 6.1 to 8, full beard 8.1 to 12, and the big beard 12 plus. Then they are also doing a really cool thing, the uh, couple slash duo slash group beard. So, um, all right, let's bring Christine back in. Chris, oh. Let's and bring she's back. Carol back in. <laughs> hey, Carol. Hi. So, yeah, so uh, you were telling us about your uh, charity that you're raising money for. So the charity, as I said, was is the IGY6 Foundation. I actually met, uh, was introduced to the founder through a gentleman that was part of the Bearded Villains out of Orlando. He's the captain of Bearded Villains, um, Bernie Edwards. He introduced me to Andy Williams, who was the who is the founder of IGY6 and we actually were starting to partner for just one and he had turned over the running of the day-to-day organization to a gentleman called James Urban and if you actually look James up through Google you will find that he made a bicycle trip from Florida to Washington, D.C. to raise money for the IGY6 Foundation. That's awesome. So it, it is. Um, so in talking to him and partnering with Just One, I came to the thought process of what better way to um, what better way to help out because we it's always a veteran first responder um, related event. And in speaking to him, they they basically are an organization that looks for ways to bring veterans, first responders, active duty military together, be it camping, um, an art class, dessert, um, different events they might have out of state. They are across the U.S. Yes, sir. They eat dessert together? Yes. You know, in some of these um, more um, hoity-toity, as Monty's favorite word, um, areas, they actually have dessert bars. And you can go and have foo-foo-y coffee and dessert. That's foo-foo-y coffee? Fufui, you got to put your pinky. Oh man, that's that's my stuff right there. That, that, yeah, he's the fufu guy. This guy fufu over here. Coffee. Like yep. That. yep. <laughs> um, but it's just an exciting time. It it works with, um, you know, it it falls into the whole philosophy of making a difference, um, of being able to give back. And, you know, as I mentioned, we've partnered with them as well through Just One. So it's kind of full circle. Um, great, great individuals. Um, they'll be out at the event as well. Very, um, very surprised that we offered to do this for them. And, um, you know, I'm just proud to be able to. Well, I'm, we, I'm sure they're excited to, you know, partner with you. Have you done anything else with them besides this event? No, um, we've, I've not through beard mob. I myself have partnered with them, um, through, through just one, we are actually going to be their buddy system. So they're going to be using, um, the buddy system that I created through just one. We've partnered with them, um, that way they've taken Monty and I in, into their family. We're, um, elite members through, um, their organization. So there's just a lot of things that we have coming up um, that we're going to be working on together. And um, obviously veterans have beards, those that, um, you know, a lot of them tend to grow the beard when they get out. So um, I was on their podcast Saturday night. Um, wow. Look at you, Miss Podcast. <laughs> um, and they were definitely oh, interested. So we're actually going, look at the pinkies go. Mm. Um, we're hoity toity like uh, Monty. <laughs> look at this. No, I'm, I'm hoity toity. No, Monty has said it right here. <laughs> and did you see this one? It says Monty seems pretty high class. I can see that. See, so, and Mr. Hoity toity himself, will he be at the uh, competition? He will be. Oh, yes. My gosh. Yes, he and Barefoot fly in on Thursday. Boy, will um, their arms be tired. Yes, right? All that flapping? 
So speaking of Josh Barefoot Brains, he wanted to know how kid friendly is this event and will he be able to wear his Speedo or not? So mm. it's kid friendly. Um, I know of some um, some families that are, are bringing kids. Um, I don't think they're youngins, but maybe teenagers. So maybe you're Speedo in a robe and you can flash everybody a few times. So take it easy, barefoot brains. <laughs> Just flash your tattoo on your head. Or, or yeah. Yep. And we have, um, I, I did hear while I was backstage, we were able to split the category. So whaler and goatee are actually separate categories. Good. So those, those being the same as, you know, stupid. We appreciate you not having chops category. Yeah, we don't want to be associated with the chops at all. So definitely keep us separate. I mean, if anything, just if if you can't separate them, just get rid of the chops category, like all together. Yeah. Like don't don't ever combine them. It's like, all right, well, we had you know one goatee and fourteen chops. Well, sorry, we can't split them because we don't have enough goatees. So just like get rid of all the chops people and yeah. then <laughs> give all the trophies to Andrew Matson. <laughs> so obviously, he's the winner because Chops isn't a real beard. Hell, right? no. We're, I mean, he's fine. He's fine in the speedo and and a robe and that. Um, it's you know, it's all in it's all in good fun and good taste. Um, wow. So he's just gonna wear no underwear at all. Whoa. Wow. But he's no, he, like she said, you need to at least wear a speedo. Like Perfect. now he's like, oh no, speedo. Psh. All right. Well, I'm just going to go naked then. How about that? Totally uh, nude. That's so, did you, you took it too far. Did you hear who we have emceeing the competition? Hammer. No. Tell us about your uh, probably the world's best and amazing, good looking, fantastic, smartest, wonderful uh, MC. I'm not going to be there. Aaron. You should stop. Well, actually, that would be me. And I did MC the first two. However, I decided I wanted to sit back and watch and be able to interact with the charity. So um, yours, Mr. Aaron D. Johnston, Me? will be emceeing our competition. Oh. Well, that's amazing. Good thing I saw all that good stuff about your MC because I had no idea it was going to be me. I feel wow. really bad for you. I'm sorry. We're going to share it. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to... Um, we're going to share the, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of take team, um, take turns with it, but all my competitions I've ever done, this is my sixth competition and all my competitions I've emceed. I've never, I've never taken a step back and actually, actually watched it or be able to interact. So, um, I decided, um, why not bring, you know, the world's greatest, um, MC on. Absolutely. I mean, that's the smartest thing you could have ever done, ever. Do you, do you see how, like, she's just totally smacking me right across the face right now? No, she's just telling you the truth. That's like it. I'm chopped liver, Aaron. It's like I'm uh, chopped. Well, uh, 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 I do remember asking oh. you last year <laughs> to come judge, and you were not able to. And I knew better than to ask you this year because I didn't even want you to have to say no. So Remember I, that one time that you asked Scott Secor to MC your event and he didn't show up? Do you, do you know how many? Remember that? that? I I remember that. I don't know if that was even going to be brought up out in the world or if we were just going to keep that behind the scenes. But I remember that one time that Scott was supposed to come and he just ghosted you. I never. I did not ghost you. You're on the show like every other week. <laughs> yeah and that's what made it so awkward every time she was on the show because she was like well i asked him and he was like i'll get back with you and then she like bought you a car to drive and like you know booked your hotel and and you, you just didn't even show up <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I'm not getting in this lover's quarrel, y'all. So <laughs> I didn't even do that. <laughs> it on his own. Um, we also oh have God. three amazing judges. Um, Good. Yeah. Tell us about your amazing judges and so, how they all have the same exact beard. It's weird. So we have the president 
and founder of the Craft Whisker Club, coming straight from Te- Tejas. 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 Right. Tejas. Uh, um, we have Miss Chicken Bread herself. <gasps> Tisha Chicken Bread, host yeah. of the new hit show, Beards at the Airport. Beards at the Friday Airport. Night. Tisha Chicken Bread, every Friday night, 8 o'clock Eastern on Talking Beards Network. Actually, she can have the premiere this Friday when they fly in. They, she could. For episode go. one, live from the Tampa airport. Right. There you go. Then, coming from Tejas as well, the one and only, nobody wears a Speedo like he does, Barefoot Brains. No. Wow. I had no idea he was even going to be there. Yes, yes. I wonder if he'll wear a speedo. No, I, I heard he's not going to wear any underwear at all now. No underwear. Just, yeah, Nothing. just wearing a robe, and he's going to flash everybody, like like you said. <laughs> so yeah, so Tisha and uh, Josh Barefoot have the same beard. You yes, know, chops aren't a beard at all. Yeah, so this is right. It's, it's the same. Like basically, he has nothing on his face. Yeah, so chops are like worn. It's like a women's like the women's beard. Yeah, pretty much. Well, okay. Um, um, yeah. So, and then the third and final judge happens to be Mr. Johnston's better half and one of my closest friends, Scott Sakura. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no, oh my God, this is great news. This is all wonderful news. What? Oh no, you can't make it. Sorry. I have room on the couch if you don't mind the dogs. I don't know. Wow. She's called you a dogs. dog. <laughs> so, yes, our third and final judge is um, none other than your beautiful wife, Natalie D. Johnston. Yes, sir. Wow. She's, no, I'm not going to say what she said. <laughs> but yeah, so Natalie uh, will be judging. That's mm-hmm. exciting. Yep, I'm going to so, judge you all from home. You should. Because that's where you'll be at home. So, I'm sorry, because I'm, I'm working the Beards by the Bay competition on Saturday night. So if someone's got to stay back at home and work. That's on right. That. Yeah, you got to run, uh, help run Beards by the Bay from the uh, Talking Beards corporate office. Yes, with Sean Glander from Big Sexy Saturday Nights. Wow, that's going to be exciting. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to have a table. Um, at the competition. Are you kidding me? Your very mm-hmm. own table? Are you bringing it with you? I did. I bought it all. I saved all my pennies from Sesame Street. All, uh-huh. the, all the pennies that got thrown in Big Bird's nest. And I was able to buy a table. Yes. Wow. My that own. Is amazing. Right? See what a you table. can do with your life? A table oh. made of pennies. Gold. No, it was made of Big Bird's feathers. Big Bird's poop? It's like compacted together. (laughs) You're you're taking things really crazy tonight. Anyway, back on track. So you're going to have a table at your event. Yes, and I am going to have um, Big Sexy Beard Brand products available. Nice. Yes. Will you have that that new uh, beard wash? Or do you know it's in there? No, at the table. What? You're going to wash beards at the table? Yeah. When did you start doing this? came out with a beard wash. Sure, and it's going to be $15 a beard. For all the year? Wait, She's going to wash everybody's beard for $15 a piece. We're this is amazing. We're going to put barefoot in a bikini Speedo. And he's going to wash beards for charity, and it's going to be $15 a beard wash. I like this. So do I. Yes, sir. What happens if they're doing the freestyle category? Well, he washes them afterwards. Oh. Yeah. There you go. I like this. This is going to be the most exciting event of all time with uh, Josh Barefoot Brains washing people's beards in bikinis. Go ahead, Scott. Is he going to be wearing a mask? Good question. If requested, then yes. 
So we'll, we'll, all appropriate social social distancing distance distancing <laughs> guidelines. <laughs> so how does how is that going to work? Do you have to wear a mask when you go inside the venue? So in order to to walk into the venue, you have to have a mask on. Once you're inside, you do not have to have the mask inside um, mask on. Um, if you're moving around, yeah. If you're out moving around. If you're up moving around, you're going to the bathroom. Um, we would, you know, put the mask on going from your table to the stage and back. No, um, y- you know, as I had said, we've, we've had what? Brock- Rodney Bush, Kyle's brother's here. Kyle Bush's oldest brother, Rodney is in the house. This is amazing. Ooh, Kyle Bush. Wow. Well, it was good having you on the show. <laughs> So that that was Christina Aguilera for her last time on the show. All right. Anyway, not like you made fun of Jeff Gordon. (laughs) That's just an easy target. That's the easiest person to make fun of in all of racing is Jeff Gordon. Well, that's just like the constant. Uh, I mean, I was so when I started watching NASCAR way back when when I was um, growing up in New Jersey um, back when Kenny Schrader was number 36 for the M&M's car. I love Schrader. Huh? The rapper? Who? Just keep going. Just ignore him. Um, And then that same year when Kenseth and Junior and everybody um, came up their rookie year and Kenseth was still 17 and he was the DeWalt, I followed him for years. So. Did you still follow him when he got in the 20 car or were you already out? I was still watching it. I'm a fan of smoke. Not everybody is. He's, you know, he had a mouth and a half on him, but I, I liked, I liked Stuart. Um, yeah, me too. I, so yeah. Stuart. 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 <laughs> anyway, so uh, try to back on track. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add about your competition? So you've got the most amazing MC ever. You have an mm-hmm. amazing panel of judges and Josh Barefoot Brains. Yes. Um, we're all on the Talk of Beards Network. We noticed that. So I'm on there. And then Josh Barefoot Brains does the uh, competition news for uh, Big Sexy Saturday Night. Natalie and Tisha are on there. Like, but, Did you do but, that on purpose? But well, yeah, and oh, well, yeah, you're on here now. You're just like the most. Uh, duh, Aaron, come on, you're, you're on the guest thing. No, I was just talking I, about just on a regular basis. What happens on Wednesday nights, Aaron? Oh, but they're not part of the like. Monty and Boo aren't. They're not. You know, they're not a judge or whatever. They're Whoa, just Christina, like, oh. are you sure I'm might be available Saturday night? I, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm Monty about what's happening. Monty will so, be there, but he's not going to be doing anything. He's just hanging out. He's Monty like, keeping me sane with his That's favorite lady. At all. <laughs> so, um, so we are starting at noon. We will have several vendors. Some of my local vendors at that do my Saturday markets for me for the, um, for just one. So we will have, um, five or six, seven local vendors. Um, there'll be some music out on the patio. We will close down registration probably about three 30, three 30 to four, just depending on how busy it is. Um, and then we will start the competition. Yes, sir. No, I was, did the competition start at five? We haven't slated for five, but, if it slows down and it looks like we have everybody that we have, then we'll go ahead and start it. Um, so mm-hmm. if they have um, animals and pets that naturally grow facial I'd hair. Like, I'd like to answer this. So speaking of this and uh, coming up in February at the Austin facial uh, event, they're going to be incorporating the, the dog whisker portion of their uh, dog whisker competition that they do in with the regular uh, competition. 
That's what yeah, I heard. So this year it's going to be all pets. So they any so the categories they're going to have is like a creative and a realistic category for the animals. So generally it's just the dog beard competition that they do in October, but this year it's going to be open to all pets at the online Cassie competition February 20th. Um, so yeah, with that being said, that happened in the joke kind of came up in what 2013 at Worlds that Austin pitched to the WBMA board that they were going to have uh, Worlds in Austin in 2017 and they were going to have a women's division because at Worlds they don't really have women's categories. It's not a thing, but in the United States we do. And one of the older gentlemen from Germany said, Oh, so you're going to have women beards. What's next? You're going to have a dog beard competition. And I think it was Brian and Taylor kind of looked at each other was like, yes, we're going to have a dog beard competition. So ever since then, they have been putting on the dog beard competition. And the, at least the last few years, our uh, our friends over at Bully Ranch have been the ones getting the. Uh, yeah, Paul and Diane. Yeah, Paul and Diane over there. And uh, yeah, they've they've been running Bully Ranch, and that's who the proceeds go to for the dog beard competition. So yeah, they're going to incorporate dog beard competition in Cassie online this year for all pets. Thank yeah. you. But we'll have more if uh, you know, if you want to just follow the show, we'll have more information about it as we get closer. We'll have someone on from the Austin Facial Hair Club, and they'll talk about it. So, but all let's about back, it. Let's get back to Christine here. Real quick. Guess what I forgot. Uh, you forgot. I forgot, what? I forgot to mention our main competition sponsor. Who's your main competition sponsor? Honest Amish. Oh my gosh. These Second guys. Year pro. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So I guess everybody who places in a category is probably going to go home with some Honest Amish. Yes, everybody that places in a category will go home with some Honest Amish. Um, all of our categories are sponsored from um, some uh, either other beard clubs or some um, beard product company owners. Uh, we also have awards for first, second, and third. Um, if you go to our event page, you can actually get a sneak peek at the awards that I finished up this weekend. They are um, amazing. Thank you. Um, we have some pins and stickers and such for everybody that signs up. We'll have some shirts available, um, still available for sale. Um, it's just, we're probably, I'm going to try to have um, build a beard table. I think I have four or five um, base beards ready. For the, for the kids, that's always been a popular one. Um, I think last year we had about 10 kids that built beards. So um, we'll have a build a beard table uh, as well. So, um, yeah, good time. Yeah, it, it. it should be. Support. I'm super excited to uh, see people in the flesh and all that good stuff. So wh what time would you like, you know, judges and MCs and stuff like that to start showing up? Well, um, I would say by two o'clock. By two o'clock. Starting at twelve. Yeah, we're starting at twelve. We'll have the like I said, the vendors and such there. It's a full service restaurant and bar. Um, so by two o'clock would would be would would be good. Good deal. All right. So. Well. If you are in the Valrico, Florida adjacent area and you would like to participate in a live uh, beer competition, the uh, the place would be what? JF Kicks? Mm hmm. All right. So look at this. Here's your little marquee Beer Mob, Florida. JF Kicks. Beards for the Brave Three this Saturday. Oh, how much is registration? 20. $20. $20. So yeah, come check it out. It's uh, going to be a good time. So everybody come be involved for a charity for or a competition for a charity and a good cause. And take note, I made it through an entire episode without one cuss word. I'm, I'm proud of you. 
aren't you? I mean, right. you, you, made, you made it through like a quarter of it without internet, so that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was all doing the swearing when she was offline. Oh, yeah, definitely. She was getting it all out. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, yes, it's always a good time, so we, thank you. We appreciate thank you. Thank you very much, and I'm sad to not be there, but know my heart's there because I love you and I appreciate everything that you do for not only the bearding community, but for just the community at large. And you have the biggest heart of like pretty much anyone I've ever met. And I admire you so much for all the stuff that you do. Thank you. I'm just, Hardest my last, word, in the business. <laughs> my last words are going to be, remember all it takes is one, just one can make a difference. Just one, just one, just one. All right. See you Saturday. Bye. Thank you. She's lovely. I love her to death. She is just one of the most greatest human beings ever. 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 What is this, Scott? I don't know. It's this new thing we're starting to do on the show where we're requesting people, like, if they want to talk about something they want to promote, be it a beard competition or... uh, Anything that they're doing that's really interesting, they can go over to the Talking Beards Facebook page, go ahead, click on Visit Group, which is right underneath the header in this new page we just made up. It's called the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Pretty much, it's like a bulletin board. Like if you were to walk in somewhere and you know you see a bulletin board with like all the business cards or someone selling their uh, this or that, it's like the same thing. But it's this is online. This is something new they're starting to do. It's like an online bulletin board. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'm <clears throat> was it just I we decided to do that this earlier this week. So yeah, right before the show, we finished it up, and now here it is live and in person. So, but yeah, if you want to post on here, just go over to talkingbeards.com or you can search on. You know what? I should put a link to it on the talkingbeards.com. There you go. That's a fantastic. That's a topic. great idea. So, anyways, our first item on the uh, Talking Beards page is what? What is this, Aaron? What is this? Yeah, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, so this is me on the uh, PDS Mix Twitch page. It was a pretty good time, and uh, if I'm sure the I know the video stays up for a while. So if you want to go check it out, uh, there were some internet issues in the middle, but we we powered through it and we got back with it, and it was a good time. So I I felt like there was a lot of good news and information in this interview. It was about there really hour. was. I, I watched a majority of it and the, probably the best parts were when you were talking about me and how awesome I am. And you were like, Oh my God, Scott, he's so handsome and all this yeah. stuff. And mm-hmm. that's pretty much was most of the interview. Oh my wow. gosh. What is this? Talking beards posted this. Yeah, they did. So the hot new trend sweeping the nation. I what? know everybody has been getting posted or tagged in this freaking thing. So yeah, this came up in the interview as well. Monkey beards. So it's like the the January version of the beard ornaments. Apparently, everybody's getting tagged in it, and it's I don't know if it's a hot new trend or anything. But Natalie pointed this out to me the other day when she was in uh, Thief River Falls, Minnesota, a couple years ago. Someone actually competed with a monkey beard. Look at this. I wonder if he stapled that to the side of his head. Yeah, he was bleeding everywhere. But, oh, my God. Uh, Oof, time was, we were going to try to announce it. John Stenstrid. Something like that. But, yeah, he actually had a monkey beard. So people Ooh. do do it. I said doo-doo. Yeah, you did. Um, this weekend, Beards by the Bay, uh, out in San Francisco, an online competition. Uh, they're looking for the creative craft freestyles. So if you want to go over, click on this uh, link here on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Um, as I said earlier, uh, Talking Beards is presenting it. And uh, myself and Sean Glander from Big Sexy Saturdays uh, will be doing a post-show wrap-up with the results for the uh, Beards by the Bay Two, yeah. So this so, that that uh, result show will probably be around ten thirty Eastern. Uh, we'll get it all hashed out Saturday, but that that'll probably be about the time. It's it's going to be a late one for the East Coasters, but it'll be you know a normal time for the West Coasters. So if you you want to see the result show Saturday, just set up a little bit. But yeah, Scott, 
And uh, Sean Glander will be hosting that amazing results show. Breaking news. Andrew Matson says uh, monkey beards still better than chops. Well, True. I mean, that just goes without saying. Everybody knows that. Tell us about this, Aaron. Yeah. So Josh Bethel uh, was this the, the cool kids. It's coming out with all these amazing artworks of all these people. And I like to like behind them. And some of them's like people's beard rooms and, or, you know, the gym or whatever. Check I think it's super cool. And uh, look, she's not, she should have been in a bathtub. Yeah. But yeah, see, that's her beard wall. How awesome is that? These are amazing. So if you want to have any artwork done, I don't know if he's doing any more cool kids, but I mean, you could be on the lookout for the next one. Go over to Room Green Productions, I do believe, dot com or yeah. uh, the Facebook page or, uh, Hit up Josh Bethel, you know, figure it out. There's a, there's a form you have to fill out and you know, all that good stuff, but you know, it, it's worth it. Look at these, look at this stuff, man. It's super and I believe cool. if I remember correctly that he's going to be making these into trading cards. Yeah, Those will be trading cards. So some of the, I think it was the zombies came out in a whole set. Well, these you get to buy the individual ones, I do believe. And so you'll have to like trade them with your friends to get the whole set. Um, at the 2021 West Coast Classic, which is the competition we were talking about earlier, um, if you uh, the raffle item, what does that say? A raffle item, you will be sure to want to buy tickets for one of these uh, really great cups by the One-Eyed Cat Crafts. Uh, yeah, so they'll, they'll have lots of cool raffle items, and this is actually going to be one of them. So, yeah, One-Eyed Cat Crafts. It's that's uh uh Jason Kiley. He's yeah. his company over there, and these these cups are super cool. And they've got a mustache guard. I use one every day. They are amazing. <clears throat> um, delayed till the twenty fifth due to United States Postal Service issues. Here's a forewarning: if any of you guys are mailing anything at any time, a package or anything, do not mail it from the United States Postal <laughs> Service. Either go FedEx or UPS. There's so many problems going on with the United States Postal Service mailing of packages that you're better off sending them other means. So, but in that event, uh, we had to postpone our show, which was supposed to be last night. The yeah, uh, so craft was for Metal 13, Corey versus Corey, which was going to be a good, good one. Hopefully it shows up and the event happens next uh, Monday. Monday. But yeah, I don't know, man. The, the Postal Service has been wild. So the last couple of weeks, our mail's running like twice a day now for some reason. And I have no idea what the heck is going on. We got, I bet we got 10 packages in the mail today. And they were just on our porch all like rubber banded together and stuff. Was it all it, from the child? Was it yeah, all? No, there were, there, no, nah, there was Yeah, there was, there was some baby Yoda stuff in there, but it, for the most part, it was just a, a bunch of stuff. I don't even know where some of it came from. One, one box was just completely beat all to hell, but mm -mm. Mm. Hopefully the USPS gets uh gets it going again. Beard yeah. by the bay. If you, you have go. a full beard, twelve inches or more, go over and register. Or twenty four inches and over, like all these guys. Yeah, except for Monty. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, so we talked about earlier. Uh, Josh Bethel and uh, the Art Assault Show will be. Sunday at seven o'clock Eastern. And this was what they created last week. Uh, so just, if you want to watch some cool art, just come together live and in person, that'll be where you want to go. So uh, Sunday night at seven o'clock, you get to see cool things like this take shape. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely going to be, yeah. Sunday nights. Check it out. And here so there's it is. the show. There it is. Oh, it's like we were sharing it. Like we knew something was in the works. Yeah. I was watching a little bit of it on Sunday night and just really like, uh, Kevin, I was watching Kevin talk and, and he's very, very interesting dude. Like he's got some real good stories and stuff and really just both of them are just really interesting guys. Yeah, very man. It's a good show. So check it out this Sunday. Let us know what you think of it. Full beard so, freestyle. This is still beers by the Bay West coast classic is a full beard freestyle. Uh, I found out today that our friend uh, Carrie uh, Bow and Arrow has been making all those cool creations. So 
I'm sure everybody appreciates that that's been involved and in seeing all their cool pictures all mashed together for the West Coast Classic. So that's coming up this Saturday. So everybody, if you want to be involved in an online competition, and if you're going to Valrico, you can do both. So the code word was golden. So we, we made a password, you know, a little post here, and they made a post, and we're sharing it. Make your video for the West Coast Classic. Keyword, password, whatever, was golden. And so you'll post those as the events ask you to Saturday. So at 10 o'clock, it says go T. Post your video at 10 o'clock. Make sure your video has golden in it or it will just be kicked to the curb. Partial beard freestyle. There you go. Another Look category. These partial category. beards. Don't forget big sexy Saturdays with Sean Glander. Yeah. Saturday so had Natalie and Tisha on last week's episode. And you see old barefoot back there. He yeah, does the yeah. beard competition news. And they put it. him so far in the background, it makes him look like he has a full beard. Well, that's why they did it. I know. And that's it. That's all she wrote. We did it. That was our uh, episode number 104 of Talking Beards. Uh, I appreciate everybody that stopped by and you know participated in the chat and all that good stuff. And don't forget... Um, I I will count. So I know I'm a week behind. I, I forgot all about the poop knife thing. If you win the poop knife, I will count everything and you will receive your poop knife. So it, share this episode, share the heck out of it. Uh, get the word out. Everybody, you know, talk of beards and, you know, uh, the network and everybody's trying to do all they can for everybody. So share this episode and watch all the episodes and all that good stuff. So I'm Aaron D Johnston. Uh, thank you, Christine M Algaretti for stopping by and Andrew Matson as per usual, making our uh, cool little arts and our shares and all that good stuff. So take it away, Scott. And I am uh, Scott Sakura. You can find me all over social media at Scott Sakura or the Beardcaster. I don't really promote that one that much anymore, but uh, we're working on some stuff coming up as we're going to hit 200 episodes of the podcast. Um, 21 away. You guys got to keep paying attention because we got some cool stuff coming up with that. Um, We're going to be doing some really cool merchandise and stuff that you guys got to be on the ball to be able to get be a part of it. So, right. Um, Make sure you go to talkingbeards.com if you want to know anything else about the show. Um, there's a link over there for uh, <clears throat> the uh, network. So if you want to know anything about each of the shows, you can go over there uh, linked up to everything. If you want to check out any old episodes of Talking Beards, even just the live show or the podcast, you can find it all over at talkingbeards.com. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. Don't forget that... Uh, Whoever shares this episode, this specific episode, the most this week will win a poop knife original from poop originalpoopknife.com and a and, poop sticker. And a new sticker. And don't forget, uh, thank you to Honest Amish uh, for sponsoring part of the show and for all the great products they supply to us to give away and for them to sponsor the uh, competitions this weekend. Yep. And you never know if you're, you know, we might have some stuff on us at some point, you know, if you're like, Hey, do you happen to have any of that? They're honest. You might, stuff? You never know. All you gotta do is ask. Just so ask. Don't, don't be afraid to come up. You see us out and about might, you know, get a sticker or something. Just, just gotta ask. That's is there going to be a, the box with you this weekend? So there will be two, the boxes in the raffle for oh. uh beards for the brave three. Uh, it's dude, this, this one is jam packed. It's one of the, two of the best ones I think we've put together. There's lots of uh, cool new stuff in it. Um, and I helped put together two, uh, poop knife raffle pack things. It's basically just a hat sticker and a poop knife, but so that will also be, be available. So lots of, lots of amazing raffles. And if, if you're on the fence about coming to a competition and you're, you're scared of COVID or whatever, put your mask on, come on down, man. This is, this is going to be a good time. It sounds like uh, the 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 you know restaurant. Thank you for doing all they can to promote social distancing and all that good stuff. So it you know be safe, do clean your hands and wear your mask and all that good stuff. And come on down, hang out, and check out the raffles or whatever. It, it should be a good time, and and we'll have a good time doing it. That's it. That is it. That's it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Check out the other amazing shows on all the, uh, you know, other days of the week. 
and share this episode. Everybody have a good night. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at facebook.com slash talkingbeards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.